lastly, you can also expect more rookies on the court today, as according to Coach Oji, a lot of his players have been improving in practice, and he wants to build their confidence for their next all crucial games. Anton and Anne. Thank you, Trishka. Yes, uh, Coach Oji Mamon starting off with Jesse Nain De Leon, one of five rookies in this year's Season 74 lineup. And also spoke with Coach Oji before the game, and he said that they've actually been training for Adamson even before the NU game. So they anticipate na nila na ang kakaharap nila itong Adamson. And the one thing that the Trishka actually pointed out in her, um, like what you said also, no, the training and the game that they have at hand, it's tailor fit to Adamson. And so you know how much uh, Coach Oji and the squad has really prepared for this. pinag nila yung movement ng Lady Falcons. And, um, you know, we know that if you're a team like UST, you have uh, the likes of Banatikla there, Ortiz, you have a good setter in Lima Kulangan. It will be difficult for Adamson, especially now that Adamson is uh, missing two of its uh, starting six players. But how does that preparation change when Adamson also has to make some adjustments with mm -hmm. these injuries that just happened to them this week? Now, um, siempre iba rin yun, ano? because for UST, they know that one of the top scorers of uh, Adamson is uh, Pineda, and she's currently uh, out in this game. The same way for uh, Makatuno, malamang inaral nila how uh, yung paaning discard niya whenever she plays in the game. And again, it's different with Pisa inside the court. Stepping up though for UST, Jesse De Leon getting another point for the Tigresses. And another rookie, Mela Tunay. Serving up for UST. Here we go. A joust at the top. It is a violation point for UST to the delight of the fans in yellow. But this Cortel stepped on the line. Now she crossed the line, crossed the middle line. So this is going to be a chance ball for UST. Rea, it's a back set to the veteran, Judy Caballero. And UST, after being down 5-2, to two, has overtaken the Lady Falcons. Back with more UAP action after a few reminders. We'd like to congratulate the Adamson University Lady Falcons for winning the Women's Softball Tournament of Season 74. It was a sweep, so Adamson is the back-to-back -back champions in women's softball. Their last opponent was the University of the Philippines. So congratulations to the women's softball team of Adamson University. And their women's volleyball team looking to duplicate their uh, performance last season wherein they finished third. Of course, uh, in order to do that, they're going to have to defeat UST and then they're going to see where they will go from there. Many different scenarios could happen as uh, we mentioned a while ago. We still have to wait for the outcome of the Ateneo La Salle game tomorrow. Missed time there. De Leon, of course, still uh, very young at, uh, at this and uh, still gaining experience. But we've seen a lot of uh, good points from her as well. Strong start for De Leon and Judy Caballero. Really focused this afternoon. Only four points. For Judy in the first round matchup against Adamson University. She's stepping up big so far here in the first set. Pisa pops it up. Cortel with the left hand. Banatitla against the double block in an offensive block for Adamson. Nevada liking that block, of course. And it is, there's something that, uh, you know, Adamson needs to uh, bring in this game. Apart from their good floor defense, it's good blocking because they're up against really strong attackers here from USD. So far, the Lady Falcons holding their own without Sheila Pineda, who was not started by Coach Pante because of that right ankle sprain suffered last Thursday in practice. Tied at nine. Nine all. 
So far, this game has been as tight as the first round meeting that went to the five sets. Soriano with a drop ball. That's her second already here in the, the first set. Second point from a well-placed drop ball. It seems that Soriano has been studying the UST defense as well. That being her second successful drop ball. Dimokulangan sets it up to Maru. Down the line. Kinlog could not handle it. Kinlog was actually there, but you know, if you're defending a ball from the down the line angle, your position is very important. As you can see, nakalabas yung right ninya, which, uh, you know, would more or less bring the ball outside rather than bring it to the middle. Normally, if you're at the right side of the court, the right foot should be forward. Dapat naka right foot forward ka. So the angle will, when the ball lands on the, the arms, it will move towards the left side. Towards the center, that's right. Back set to a running oh. Ortiz. That's her move. We've seen a lot of those plays from Dima Kulangan and Ortiz. Something that they've already mastered. And Ortiz. Lady Tigers, top by one. In that previous game against NU, she was very active. She was communicating, telling Rhea that she wants Rhea to set the ball up for her. That time doing it again, and that's what Ortiz does best. But this is what Soriano does best as well. Now, what we see here from both squads, they couldn't stress it, you know, even more. Right? In both the, the pregame interviews, both teams have stressed how important it is for them to win this match. None of them, of course, would want to go into a playoff with FEU for that uh, last and, you know, final... Uh, uh, final spot in the in the top four. It is a check ball. Adamson players unhappy with that. Check ball. So it's a point for USD. Maruban. And since you've uh, mentioned it, the loser goes into a playoff match against FEU. Since mm -hmm. FEU defeated USD earlier today, now depending on what will happen tomorrow, if LaSalle wins. We will have a stepladder. And the uh, stepladder will start off with the playoff between FEU and the loser of this game right now. And that stepladder game will happen on Monday. Mm -hmm. Now, if Ateneo defeats LaSalle, we go into the regular Final Four format. But FEU and the loser of this game will have to determine who gets the, fi who gets the fourth spot. And that playoff will happen on Wednesday. A well, very interesting turnout here for uh, all of the squads. You've seen how uh, we've had ties or at some point three-way ties as well between um, Adamson, USD, and FEU. And we both feel the energy and the sense of urgency oh. that these players are playing with right now. We haven't seen any big lead from either of the teams, no. which just goes to show how important each and every uh, play they have. Tamo, everything is just um, really pure. In intensity is there. It's purely uh, very aggressive, especially when it comes to offense. And the crowd also energizing the player Soriano. And that's a point for Lady Falcon. Soriano is at her best this afternoon. And of course, I, I'm pretty sure Soriano knows that she has to step up in the absence of uh, two of uh, the starters that they have, Makatuno and uh, Pineda. Soriano knows that she is the best player of this team. Ortiz! But Ortiz! How, how can you uh, even defend that kind of play? Nice quick set. Ortiz winding up. Of course, if you're Adamson, you can't be too lax when it comes to blocking. You have to, uh, you know, really focus on your attackers. Difficult set there by Matet Pisa. It's a back set here. Chance ball for Adamson University. Zapanta. Oh, and it's a point for Adamson. That violation called here on USD. Lucky break there for Zapanta. Zapanta had her best game of the season in their first round matchup. Elisa May Zapanta serving for Adamson. UST uh, 
Remember, started this season at 0 and 2, losing to Ateneo in their first game in straight sets, and then losing to Adamson in their second game in a five setter, very close five setter. But after that, uh, the USD squad pick up, picked up the pieces. You'll see that there are a lot of uh, young players in the lineup as well. But, uh, you know, we have to, uh, I guess, give credit also to uh, the seniors in the team like Banatikla, Caballejo, and Ortiz was really uh, stepped up and Di Makulangan as well. Too much angle on that hit by Maru Banatikla. 